It is time everyone, the new Warzone monster is here. Move over Graal, it is time for the CR56 Amex aka the Galil. Okay, I might have been a little bit too early with giving this map the Warzone crown, but I still might be right in the end. Today I'm showing you guys the best Galil setup for Warzone. This is not an easy weapon to tame and you will need to build it correctly for maximum results. For the people that do not know, the CR56 is a new season 4 weapon that is unlockable at level 31. So go and grind your ass off. I've worked hard to get you guys the best class setups for the new weapons. If you're interested in the Fennec slash Defector video, the link is in the description. Also, if you love these builds, make sure you like and subscribe. Now without further ado, let's get into this beast of a build. We are going for a max damage range and very low and controllable recall build. The Galil kicks like a Bronco, so you need this recoil control. The first attachment I am using is the Monolithic Suppressor for more damage range and sound suppression. Still the best attachment in the game for any AR, so easy choice. Next up is the XRK Zodiac S440 barrel for maximum damage range, extra bullet velocity and some recoil control. This combined with the Mono Suppressor will give you the maximum damage range. Also the extra recoil control is lovely as well. Up next I am using the Ranger Foregrip. This will again control the recoil the Galil has. It will decrease the overall mobility and ADS speed, but I will show you later how we correct this problem. Next up is the 45 round max for an increase of 15 bullets in the mag. The gun hits hard and shoots slow, so this is enough for most situations in Warzone. Another 5 bullets would be nice as well, but this is not bad at all. And finally the XRK CR56 rubberized wrap for the max amount of recoil control for the Galil. Again, it does decrease some mobility, but not by that much. So, let me explain why this is the best class setup. The Galil has a pretty strong vertical recoil pattern. The way to negate this is by adding recoil control. The range of foregrip and the rubberized wrap will do that for you. This combined with max damage range and enough ammo will give you great benefits in the mid to long range fights. Like I said earlier, the mobility is not great, but that will be countered by our secondary. I'm using a mobile Fennec and the Amped Perk. Whenever I need something fast and mobile, I'll switch to my Fennec to get the max speed and elite quickness. I will not be using a scope on the Galil because I believe you will need all these attachment slots for it to be reliable and controllable in Warzone. This is my Galil class setup, if you enjoyed please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel, it will mean a lot to me and as always I will see you in the next video.